uh, who has presented uh, uh, yesterday, I believe. So will you please welcome Tasmin Benison? Hello, this is random. Okay, wait, not ready yet. <clears throat> okay. The year is 2041, March, and things are getting worse on an Earth-like planet in a parallel universe. Sever, severe weather warning every effing morning for the past three years. April, news flash interrupts with weird horse tales, donkeys with aquatic mutations in Scarborough, amphibian foals in Wales being made into lasagna for Tesco. The French ones are vicious shats from the bowels of hell. They plot to devour all humans, starting with a riding school in La Rochelle. May, New Zealand lambs are born with chicken legs. They st stealthily stalk their prey, then pounce and dissect. So the farmers attach bells to them to avoid being sneaked upon and pecked into oblivion. June! Doctors baffled, scientists perplexed. Why are all the babies born with webbed feet? Whatever next? Child disqualified from swimming gala in Kuala Lumpur. Aww. July! In Scandinavia, ginger ladies give birth to fish with human faces. The females exhibit lesbian sexual behaviour to a round of applause. The price of trout soars. August, sumo wrestlers in Japan began to grow bizarre bingo wings. Forced to retire from their sport as while headlocking opponents, the flaps got caught. Attempts at flying proved futile. But their butterfly, butterfly stroke was second to naught. September, Antipodean ladies experienced rapid neck growth. Giraffe syndrome, as it became known, defied explanation. Mothers and daughters literally find it easier to keep their heads above water. Meanwhile, as you can see in the US population, they shop on QVC for a revolutionary gadget called Giraffe Me. Everyone's pumping neck and sales of scarves go through the roof, as do many heads. Toddlers are next to be adjusted. They're teleporting and mind control, throw crashes and nurseries into chaos. The little shits cannot be trusted. Nobody puts baby in the corner anymore. November, high up on a mountain in Nepal, Professor Miao Ying surveys all. Quietly confident, he tells fortunes by reading coughed up hairballs. Death to humanity. Yeah. yeah. For years, his feline friends have been transformed into winged creatures, spawning kittens with owl-like features. English folklore named Owls the Bo Birds of Doom. These must be the Moggies of Armageddon. December! The Global Alliance Committee announced plans to build fleets of arcs. And people of every city gather in streets and parks to debate their fate. January 2042. By now, there are many new species found, as all around, man lies with pig, buffalo, and hound. All new species were guaranteed a place on the ark. Ah, desperate measures were being taken. And so the hybrids emerge, such as uh, this lady, Caroline, the product of man and bovine sexy time. Bitty. Spaniel lady and pups on the front cover of the New York Star regrets posing for the photo shoot after builders go too far, shouting, Oi, bitch, I'll give you a bone as she's trotting home. Only a few spaces left on the boats. Celebrities desperately claim to be of alien breed. Beckham's wife is a Martian, he's a goat. For everyone left, there is no hope, just tsunamis. I predict a riot, said a Tibetan Mocky 
Moggy from his hilltop retreat. He was far from soggy. Looting and shooting and death and war, as you saw, went on for days and nobody saw the ark sailing away before rapidly sinking, apart from the cats who watched from the treetops, chuckling, they will inherit the earth. Thank you. Tasmin Benison, ladies and gentlemen.